Welcome back, YouTubers. So at the beginning of the year, we discussed uh, visible wireless and using it as an alternative for cable internet for your house. And I taught you, you know, how to get signed up for the visible wireless service. I told you about the RAV Power file hub that you could connect to, so you can connect this phone to that and then share your internet with multiple devices throughout your house. Today's basically an update video, and I'm going to let you know whether or not it's still a viable option or if things change after you've had the service for a while. All right, so back when I first got Visible Wireless, um, my connection speeds were averaging around 12 Mbps up and uh, 12 Mbps down. It was pretty much the same flat both ways. And for me, and to connect to the RAV Power File Hub, I was able to run like a computer watching YouTube, of course, browsing on my phone. I could uh, stream like Netflix movies and stuff. And you know, using all those services, despite only connecting at 12 Mbps, we did just fine. We didn't have any buffering issues or anything like that. So I've recommended to everybody to use the service and see what they thought and see if it worked for them so they could replace their cable internet. Well, here we are now and we are this, I'm about to pay my fifth monthly bill or my sixth monthly bill on this now. And I wanted to uh, show you what kind of speeds I'm getting after having the service for five or six months and compare it to what I was getting because what I was getting, I was able to power my house with internet but things have changed a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna do a speed test right there on Google's website for you. See if I can get it to, see if I can get it to, there we go. Let's do a speed test real time so you can see what I'm getting. just in case my screen is trying to turn itself off. All right, so my speeds are, since I can't read backwards, my speeds are 6.93 Mbps download and 12 Mbps upload. So my speeds have kind of slowed down a little bit. They're still not capped or anything like that. You know, there's a, there's a rumor that started, or it's not even a rumor, it actually happened, but when Visible Wireless first started, they would cap your hotspot data at uh, five megabits per second. And they stopped doing that for people that are signing up for the service currently. And it's supposed to stay that way all the way through the entire life of your service with them as long as you have service with them. I'm gonna do a hotspot test now. I'm gonna bring you over to the computer and we're gonna see how good uh, my connection is with my hotspot enabled, what my computer can pull. All right, so I'm turning on the hotspot on my visible device. And then I go on to my computer here. And I'm going to connect to my visible R2 7F12. Connect. And then we'll run a speed test from the exact same website that we did on the phone. And we'll see what kind of, uh, what kind of numbers I'm getting with my hotspot data. So let's just go to speed test. Now I know a lot of you don't like me using this one, but I'm going to use it anyway. But um, you know the results that I get really aren't a whole lot different from using anything really. I mean, as far as like going to fast.com or anything like that, I get the same results here. Wow. I don't know if you can see that download down there. I got my camera still set on my tripod, but I'm at 12.21 Mbps download, 13.02 to Mbps upload. All right, so as you can see, I'm actually still getting pretty decent speeds. The hotspot's giving me better speed than uh, the actual on the, you know, the device itself is. But I do wanna stress something. It, it seems that when, I, uh, when I'm pulling a lot with this, if I have, like I said, if I have a, you know, a streaming service set up and YouTube loading a video, it, it doesn't seem to be as smooth as it used to be. And it used to be that I could game with this internet real easy too. Uh, competitive gaming was kind of an issue, but however, I can't even get any more. I can't get even like online just to play GTA or something and just do like co-op stuff without just having some horrible lag. Um, I think that visible detects when you have a lot of data streaming through, and I think that they do uh, throttle you at some point. So if you were going to get uh, visible wireless to power your house uh, for your internet needs, I wouldn't just get one device. See, because Visible itself, is a, it's a really good service to have. 
it's uh, unlimited everything. It, uh, your your data is always prioritized. You know that's that's one of the bad things of you know having it. But you have an unlimited hotspot. You have unlimited data, unlimited text and calls. Twenty five bucks a month when you join the party plan. You know my bill is only twenty five bucks a month. And like I said, I can take this thing anywhere I have service. I can hook everybody up. You know if we all want to bring our laptops out to like a campfire out on the side of the river or something and we can all have internet while we're out there and I can stream things, assuming that the service is good in that area. So, I mean, it's definitely worth it to have, you know, the visible wireless as your cell phone provider. But on top of that, um, to backtrack a little bit, what I was gonna try to tell you is that if you want to use it for your house and you don't want lag and buffering issues and all that stuff, then I would recommend that more than one person in your household has visible wireless because you can hook your hotspot up to your TV in the living room and your computer in the living room. And then if you got kids upstairs, they can hook up their you know, data hotspot to their game device and their TV. So that way you're spreading it out and you're not trying to pull everything off of one device. Can you run your household off of visible wireless? Yes, but gaming is gonna be pretty much, forget about it. And if you're trying to run more than two or three TVs at a time, you're gonna have some buffering issues and some quality problems as far as your internet service goes. So your update, or I should say my update for you for visible wireless, I still have it. It is not my primary internet, but I do use it, like I said, as backup. I use it when I'm out on the go. I use it at work, you know, for me and my boss when we're, you know, working on stuff. I bring my RAV Power File Hub with me. That way we can hook, you know, our phones and our laptop computers and everything up to it. So yeah, visible wireless definitely is a great option just to have a cell phone carrier. I, as far as I'm concerned, they're unbeatable. You know, for what they have to offer, like I said, unlimited text and calls, unlimited data, and unlimited hotspot data. I mean, how, how do you beat that for 25 bucks a month? And like I said, it's prioritized, but if you don't live in a big city, then prioritization is not really an issue for you. And I imagine that if you're watching this video right now, uh, since it's gonna be titled something along the lines of you know, visible wireless for home internet, I would have to imagine that you, most of you watching this don't live in a city and that's why you're looking for alternative options because your cable provider probably sucks. Mine did too. That's the reason why I got visible. Now, the thing for me is that my cable provider, I actually got a really good deal through them for internet only after I canceled their service and then came back to them several months later. Uh, but you know, another year goes by and that that's up. So I'm gonna have to find some other alternative or I'm gonna have to just cancel them all together. But fortunately I have visible wireless and if my girlfriend gets visible wireless too, like I've been trying to get her to do since I got this, then, then we'll have what we need to power the household with internet to where we won't even need a cable provider ever again. So yeah guys, that's my visible wireless update. Like I said, it's well worth getting hooked up with visible wireless. If you get one of their phones that only allows you to have one hotspot hooked up at a time, you get your RAV Power File Hub, and then you can hook your hotspot to this, and then you can hook up multiple devices to this. And like I said, the more people in your house that have visible wireless, the better off you'll be as far as internet goes if you're actually looking for an internet replacement. But uh, I absolutely swear by visible wireless, 25 bucks a month, unlimited everything, including hotspot data. Guys, it just, you, you can't beat it. And it can make an alternative option for internet in your house if you have more than one device. Unless you live in a house by yourself and it's just you and a TV and a computer, then this is fine for just you. All right, it's time for the giveaway portion. If you made it this far into the video, thank you very much for watching the whole thing. And today I'm gonna to be giving away, of course, if you saw yesterday's video, then you know I got a bunch of fidget spinners I'm trying to get rid of, but I have a few of these metal ones too. And uh, they make kind of a cool sound when you spin them. No, I like those very much. These are just the bow tie gold colored metal fidget spinners. But um, if you go down to the bottom and um, put hashtag, put hashtag gold, that works. Start a comment with hashtag gold and then just put the rest of your comment, put a reason why you want this. And I'm gonna pick somebody who watched the video and uh, you know wrote a comment and basically said I would like it. And I'm gonna pick somebody out of that list and somebody's gonna win this. Continental United States only. Make sure you live in the continental United States. I'm not sending anything overseas because of everything that's going on in the world right now. But if you'd like this little fidget spinner, I will send it to you and it will cost you nothing. All you have to do is enter down below by putting a comment, hashtag gold, 
and why you would like it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.